Mark mounting holes using a marking off template. Secure the mounting bracket. Install the Sun 2000 on the mounting bracket. Tighten the two nuts at the bottom of the Sun 2000. Connect a PE cable to the Sound 2000. Prepare an AC output power cable for the Sound 2000. Use the waterproof rubber plug with a proper aperture to cover the cable. Connect the core wires of the AC power cable to the AC connector. Connect the AC power cable to the corresponding port on the Sun 2000. Tighten the screw on the AC power cable terminal. Connect DC input power cables to the Sun 2000. Prepare a communications cable for the Sound 2000. Take out the communications cable terminal from the package. Connect the communications cable. The Sound 2000 provides two RS-485 communications ports for cascading multiple inverters or connecting to the smart logger. One communications port for the power meter or battery. Four dry contacts for power grid scheduling. Signal cables sharing a port should be crimped together in a cord end terminal before being inserted into the port. Reinstall the communications cable terminal. 
The waterproof rubber plug is used with the waterproof block to seal the redundant space between the cable and the terminal. Remove the waterproof cap from the communications port on the Sound 2000. Connect the communications cable on the Sound 2000. Install a smart dongle 